Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math along pedal algebra problem. So here we have m minus 3 to the power of 6 is equals to 3 to the power of 6 and we solve this problem for the values of m. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is first we need to take the square root on both of the sides. So when you take square root it will be written as square root of m minus 3 to the power of 6 is equals to square root of 3 to the power of 6. And now here we uh, use uh, we can write this equation into the exponent form so it will be written as m minus 3 to the power of 6 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2 and this will be written as 3 to the power of 6 and its whole exponent is 1 over 2. So you see here this is 2 times of 3 becomes 6 this is also 2 times of 3 becomes 6 and we will get here m minus 3 to the power of 3 equals to this is 3 to the power of 3 and here we can write the plus minus sign because of when we take square root on both of the sides we will write here plus minus sign and now here in the next step we need to break these values and here first we write the positive value it is m minus 3 cubed equals to 3 cubed and here we write the negative value it is m minus 3 cubed equals to minus 3 cubed okay so uh, here we call this is our equation number one and this is our equation number two so that first we need to copy down equation number uh, one here so that from one we move this value in the left hand side and it will be written as m minus three cubed minus three cubed equals to zero so here we apply uh, the nice cubic formula and you know that uh, if we have uh, a cubed minus b cubed it is equals to a minus b times of a square plus a b plus b square according to this cubic formula you see that the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b so now we put the values of a and b in the right hand side of this nice formula so uh, after substituting the values of a and b our above equation is written as first you have a minus b the value of a is m minus 3 minus the value of b is 3 and again you have a square a is m minus 3 square plus a b a is m minus 3 into b is 3 and plus b square so b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplification then it will be written as m minus minus 3 minus 3 becomes minus 6 and here we expand this nice as square identity so it will be written as m square plus 9 minus 6 m and plus here we need to multiply this 3 on both of these values it will be written as 3 m minus 9 and plus this 3 square is also equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m minus 6 times of uh, this is m square minus 6 m plus 3 m equals to minus 3 m and this is negative m and positive m are gone and we get here this is only plus 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m minus 6 equals to 0 the second case is we write m squared minus 3 m plus 9 equals to 0 so from first case we easily get the value of m equals to 6 this is the first solution of the given equation and now here for other solutions we need to solve the second equation so here first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9 and now we state the quadratic formula as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a and now here in the next step we need to put the values of a b and c in this nice formula so it will be written as m is equals to this is minus b the value of b is minus 3 and this minus times of minus becomes here plus 3 and plus minus square root of b square b is minus 3 and minus 3 square becomes 9 and 4 times of a is 1 and c is 9 and it is divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 and now in the next step uh, we need uh, to take common uh, 9 from uh, inside the square root sign and it will be written as 3 plus minus square root of 9 times of 1 minus 4 and it is divided by 2 
So here uh, we can see that the square root of 9 equals to 3. It will be written as 3 plus minus 3 times of 1 minus 4 equals to minus 3 and it is divided by 2. And now in the next step, uh, here we need more simplifications and it will be written as uh, m is equals to 3 plus minus uh, 3 times of square root of 3 into the square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2. So these are the other two complex roots of the given equation and we have the one root one real root of the given equation which we get from equation number one is m equals to six so these are the three roots which we get here from equation number one and now here we move forward uh, from equation number two so that first we copy down equation number two here uh, so equation number two is that m minus two cubed equals to minus three cubed this is equation number two and now first we move this right the right hand side into the left hand side and it will be written as m minus two cubed this is negative value when we move in the left hand side it will become positive and this whole equation equals to zero and now here in the next step we need to use here the nice other cubic formula here so this will be written as if you have a cubed plus b cubed it is equals to a plus b times of a square minus a b plus b square and you see here the base of this term is our a and the base of this term is our b and now we put these two values of a and b into the below formula so that our above equation is written as first we have a plus b the value of a is m minus 2 uh, sorry this is m minus 3 okay so this is the uh, typing mistake this is m minus 3 so the value of a is m minus 3 and plus b the value of b is 3 into a square again a is m minus 3 squared and minus a b a is m minus 3 and b is 3 plus b square b is 3 square and this whole equation equals to 0 now you see here this is negative and positive term are gone and we get here only m and here we need to expand this nice formula so it will be written as m square plus 9 minus 6 m and here we multiply this 3 on both of these values as well as this negative sign on both of these values it will be written as minus 3 m plus 9 and plus this is 3 square is also equals to 9 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here we need to add or subtract the like terms and we have m square minus 6 m minus 3 m becomes here minus 9 m this is 9 plus 9 plus 9 becomes here 27 and this whole equation equals to 0 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write m equals to 0 so this is the fourth root of the given equation the second case is we write this quadratic equation equals to 0 m square minus 9 m plus 27 equals to 0 so here we can apply the uh, quadratic formula to solve this equation so first we can write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 9 and c equals to 27 and we state the quadratic formula as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to put the values of a b and c here and it will be written as this is minus b the value of b is minus 9 so minus times of minus becomes plus 9 and square root of b square b is minus 9 and a minus 9 square is 81 and this is 4 times of a is 1 and c is 27 and it is divided by 2 times of a a is 1 and it is 2 it is equals to 9 plus minus here we need to take common 27 inside the square root uh, so uh, it will be written as uh, 27 into 3 minus 4 square root and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as m equals to this is 9 plus minus we write this 27 as 9 multiplied by 3 becomes 27 and 3 minus 4 becomes minus 1 and it is divided by 2 so here we have m is equals to 9 plus minus the square root of 9 equals to 3 into uh, this is square root of 3 and we know that square root of minus 1 equals to iota and it is divided by 2 so finally we have uh, the other uh, other three roots of the uh, 
of the given equation which we get here from second equation are these are the two complex root and m equals to 0 be the one real root so these are the total six roots of the given equation this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos